Tell me who you are and uh, who you're currently uh, uh, here representing. Um, I am Dana Nelson. Uh, I am here representing AHA and the uh, kids sector of Ann Arbor Sacrospace. And what is it that uh, excites you the most about Ann Arbor? Um, I, I love the community and how much um, you, you don't really have to start from anything. You get as much from the community uh, as you put into it. And uh, what is it that you want people to take away from your speech tonight here at Ignite? Um, you don't really need any professional training. Um, as long as you're open to uh, suggestions, uh, willing to change, and uh, are, are highly versatile, I, I guess. Tell me, what inspires you the most about Ann Arbor and living in Ann Arbor? Oh, honestly, things like things like this event. You know, um, this isn't something that I lived in a lot of other cities, and I would never really participate in something like this because the the close knitness of it all. You know, Ryan forced me to do it basically, and and I wouldn't have known the person running this thing before that. So you get to know people really quickly in in a town this size. And, but with, with this many things going on that other towns this size don't have. So. so what's the thing you'd find most disappointing about the current state of the U.S. space program? That there barely is one anymore. I mean, they are doing you know, a little bit of unmanned missions. The Mars rover obviously was awesome. But I like manned missions to space. I want to send us up. And you know, it, it all seemed to just sort of fizzle out. So if you could say one uh, uh, beautiful sci-fi dream that you would love to see uh, our uh, uh, life in space become within 50 years, what's the thing? Total recall. Total recall. Li on Mars, w with the yeah, alien. Exactly. Yeah. Faces exploding. Faces all exploding. That. Awesome. <laughs> what inspired you to come and represent your burlesque collective here at uh, Ignite? Well, it's something that um, our the collective is really focused in a very particular demographic. And I do so much of my expression, self-expression through dance. So I thought that it would be fun to do it through voice and talking and to bring it to a much wider audience than who usually gets to see us perform. Because our shows are late, they're not for all ages, you know. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to bring it to something like this. And uh, what inspires you most about Ann Arbor and uh, living here in Ann Arbor? The thing that inspires me, gosh, everything. I grew up in Ann Arbor, I'm from here, and when I was growing up in high school, um, especially I was just surrounded by a lot of people who couldn't wait to get out, and they were just saving enough, an, up enough money to leave, and I was the same way. But then I didn't go very far, and when I came back, I just loved it even more, and I think people here really have to hustle hard to stay here, and so they're really passionate about it. And what is the one thing you'd like people to take away from your speech tonight? Um, I would like them to take away the idea of power and performance and just some vague concept of how those two things interact.